So you want to start by getting yourself some dried roses. You can easily dry roses by just taking a bunch of them, tying them off at the stems, and hanging them upside down. Roses will also dry right in the vase, just like these did, but you end up with heads that are slightly bent, but in this case, however, that's fine because we're just using the heads. So you want to take all your roses and cut the heads off right at the stem. You want to make sure the bottom of them is flat, and just cut them all off, just like that. Then get yourself a piece of cardboard and arrange the roses in a heart on the piece of cardboard. Then take a pencil and just lightly draw around the shape of the roses. It doesn't have to be exact, we're just using this as a guideline. And the size of your wreath will depend on the number of roses you're using. So then just take a pair of scissors and cut out your heart shape, smoothing the lines as you're cutting. You want a nice symmetrical heart shape. And then cut out the inside as well. Again, make your lines, this is the time to fix all the lines that are just kind of sloppily drawn. You want to smooth them out with your scissors. You want to make sure that your roses are wider and the cardboard support around them. So then just arrange your roses in the order that you want them to go on the wreath and take each head and put a little bit of hot glue on the back of it and then press it onto the cardboard heart. Just do that to both sides, building evenly is the easiest way to do it. A little bit of glue on the bottom and then just press them in place. And you'll do that to each rose head going all the way up around the wreath until you've got the entire cardboard heart covered. So you should end up with this. And the cardboard gives the roses a strong background to support themselves on so their petals aren't ripping off being glued against each other. So then get yourself some lace ribbon. I'm just using some seam binding here. And then get yourself some pink ribbon. I'm just using some plain bias tape, but you can also use shiny ribbon if you want to. You're just going to put the two together, put a little dot of glue on the very ends, and then just glue those together. You can leave most of the rest of it loose, but a few inches down the line you want to put another little dab of glue. And then right about where that dab of glue is, you're going to start by making a loop. And then you'll twist the ribbon, and then you'll make another loop, and you'll twist the ribbon, and then you'll make another loop, and you'll twist the ribbon. You can make as many loops as you want, I end up making six here, and basically you just go along making loops and twisting them each time, and that will keep the pink ribbon on the inside of the lace ribbon. So you'll just go until you have as many loops as you want, give it a final twist, and then just straighten out the tails. And then you just take a pair of scissors, and cut off any excess, and then take another piece of the lace ribbon, and just wind that around all the loops. It's just a short piece. And then you'll just tie that in place around all of those loops, and that will hold all the loops in place to make your ribbon into a bow. Just cut off the excess tails. And so then, just put a little dab of glue anywhere where your ribbon is loose. Any place you want the two to stick together if they're flying apart, into the other tail. And then if any of the loops don't stay together, just put a little dot right in the center of the loop and glue it to the lace. And that'll hold them together just fine. So then just kind of play with the ribbon a little bit, arrange it, pull all the loops, make them even. Just kind of place them where you want them to set to make your bow look nice. So once you're happy with your bow, just lay it out flat, lay your wreath on it to measure where you want it on the ribbon. Then just put a couple spots of glue on the ribbon. And then just place your wreath right back on top of those. Just push it down to make sure it gets into the glue. Then on the back side, just cut off any of the tails that are hanging beyond the cardboard. And then the ribbon will be used as your hanger. So then here is the finished wreath. And you can really do this with any color of roses, it doesn't have to just be Valentine's Day either.